What's up guys, back with a new video. Let me do another toy haul. Um, it's a couple random things and one another set of the um, the Legend series from Marvel. So we'll uh, do the two randoms first and then we'll get into that. So the first one is, I found at GameStop they released the Pop Funkos for the Justice League movie. I might eventually get them all, I'm not sure yet, but I had to get this one that is Flash. Um, go ahead and get him out of the box. I don't think any of, the, any of my toys really unbox anyway. Alright, he looks he looks pretty good actually. Um, I really, really like that. It's got a cool design on the back. Um, the sad thing is, is the pop looks better than that flash figure that I bought the other day. Um, so I'm sorry if it's a little bit quiet. I'm using my camera for this video, so the quality of like the toys looks a little bit better than my webcam, and I don't have the mic for it, so I'm just using the uh, ex internal mic from the camera. So there's that one. Let's sit him there. The next one I got at GameStop. Um, I'm just I like it. Um, it is an Iron Heart. Uh, if you guys don't know who that is, I mean, just look it up, or if you read the comic books, you know. It's a San Diego exclusive, supposedly only one out of 6,000 of these made. Now, this would be kind of hard to show in this cam camera, because it's a smaller camera. But, there it is. I will, um, I'll open it so you guys can see it. So, just give me one second, I'll cut it. Right, guys, we're back. I got it unboxed. Now, here it is. Move the flash here so I'm a little bit closer. Um, really, pretty good detail. To come with a base, looks like she's flying. Um, like I said, if you guys don't know who Ironheart is, I don't want to go and explain it. It's from the comic books. Basically, it's just a version of Iron Man right now. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Ironheart, but the figure is really nice. Um, and I'll show you guys in a minute where I'm going to put it at because I've changed things around, which is why I bought this. I'll probably get a few more. But pretty good. It's got the blasters on the bottom, on the hands. Um, but I think it's pretty good, de pretty well detailed. Now the next thing is the big, the Legend series that I was talking about. Because um, I did get the Iron, or not the Iron Man, the Hulk Legends, which you can kind of see behind me over here. You can't really see them. So I got the next wave that came out. I just found these randomly the other day. I had been wanting them, but I hadn't seen them yet. And that is the Man-Thing Builder figures. Um, give me two seconds. Alright. I uh, need to turn off my computer so it wouldn't glare in the video. Um, which is still kind of glaring. So let's turn this lamp on. Alright, maybe that ought to be good enough. Um, so it's the Man Thing Build a Figure series. Um, most of these I'm excited for, honestly, except for this one, which is Jessica Jones. So now you guys can't see too well because it's a little bit darker in here now. But I'll unbox them in a second. Um, let's see who else we got. Next we got the TV show version of Punisher. Uh, like I said, I know it's a little dark on that, but we'll be open in a second. Um, TV version Electra. TV version Daredevil, and then we have my two favorites, um, which are from the TV show Bullseye and Blade. I know you guys can't see that too well, but I'll get them out of the box. So we'll go ahead and unbox those and um, build Man Thing. So you guys can see that. We'll be back. I got them all unboxed. Got man thing put together over here. I'll show you guys in a second. So we'll kind of show you the, in my opinion, the worst to best. Um, so in my opinion, the worst, which I was automatically not excited for for this series, was Jessica Jones. Um, one thing kind of seems like recently is like the worst figures don't come with any accessories because this is it. This is all you got with her. And same with that Loki set. I didn't really like him, and all he came with was the helmet. Um, so yeah, the figure, I mean, it looks fine. I'm just not a fan of Jessica Jones at all. Um, so there's her. Uh, next is gonna be, 
Electra, which once again doesn't look bad. And so you got her, which there's, no, are they all like that? Yeah, like they wrote numbers on the side, and I never realized that before down there by the leg. So I don't think you guys can really see it right there. Um, decent looking figure. I like I much prefer her over Jessica Jones. Um, and then she came with, excuse me, alternate head, which was without the mask. Dropped one. And then two weapons. So that's her. So next, we have Punisher. Six feet there a little bit. It kind of seems like these aren't made too great though, which I'm kind of disappointed about. But it is what it is. Let's fix this. You know, like that just looks odd. Anyways, so this Punisher from the TV show from Daredevil, and then he's getting his own TV show. It's the, I can't remember his actor's name, but it's the one that plays Shane on The Walking Dead. Um, it doesn't look bad, the, this comes off the jacket, but the Punisher logo is kind of weird because the way his torso moves. I don't know if I like that, but overall decent. Um, and then he came with a pistol and like a, just an assault rifle. So, not bad. Um, next is Daredevil from the TV show, which looks pretty good actually. Oh, I didn't I think the suit looked too good on a toy, but it's not bad. So there he is. Decent. Um, he came with a set of fists, which I mean, is whatever, and then he came with his cane that does come apart. And then he's got this cool little... Go ahead and put these in here real quick. That's the way they go or not, but where you can set them on the side there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I'll probably have him holding them though when I set him up. And then next we have Bullseye, which is probably one of the best looking Bullseyes I've seen in a while. Let me fix it. His belt came off here. Uh, I'm holding his head. I guess you guys can see it. That's Bullseye. Won't focus too much on him, but pretty decent. He's got this thing right here, which is supposed to be like, he's throwing the knives. So like if you set it up right, you know, it just kind of looks like he's throwing them. That was pretty cool. I'm out to figure out what a cool way to set him up. Then he came with an alternate head. It's just him without the, uh, you're not going to focus. Without the mask. Set of hands and then a pistol. And knife. And there's a place to put both those on his belt. And then my most, the one I was most excited for, did these come out? Was Blade. Probably one of my favorite, like anti heroes, I guess you call him. Sometimes hero. Um, I don't. Ha I only have one other Blade figure, and it doesn't look anywhere near this what detail. So he's got the stakes right there, some stakes right there, more on the back, place for his sword to go. Of course, rocking the glasses. Looks pretty good. And they came with an alternate head that's just got like a different haircut design. And his sword. Looks pretty good. So that is the entire set of this wave of legend figures, the man thing wave. Um, so the only thing I left to show you is Man Thing itself. Now he's a lot easier put together than Hulk. Um, I had a hard time getting the pieces to snap onto Hulk when I put him together. But I kind of I don't know if I like this one more than Hulk or not. It's pretty close actually because I do like Man Thing. Here he is. Um, pretty pretty good looking, honestly. Decent size comparison. Um, here he is beside Jessica Jones. Right, there we go, that's about how it's supposed to be. Okay. Yep, that's even. So decently bigger. Um, I don't know if he's bigger than Hulk. Probably not with the helmet on that Hulk has, but without the helmet, probably the same size. But definitely really, really like that. I'm about to find somewhere nice to set him up. 
So, a, a decent wave this time. Um, the past couple they've done have been relatively well because they had the Spider-Man Homecoming, which I haven't done a video of that, but I might once I get it finished. I only need, I'm not going to show you, but I only need one more piece to complete the Vulture wave for that one, the wings for Vulture. Um, both that one, then Thor Ragnarok, and this one, which, I mean, it's kind of, I think they're trying to base around Defenders, but not all of these are in the Defenders TV show, obviously, but I think that's what they were going for. So overall, pretty well. Um, but I, what, what I did want to show you guys, I'll show you real quick. <laughs> Go ahead and get up here. Now it is a little bit of a mess, because obviously there's trash everywhere. But I have moved my stuff around, made it look a little bit more organized. Got some new shelves. So what I was thinking about this, is I want to put her up here somewhere. I want to buy, get some more statues. And I'm going to put her somewhere up there, maybe over there, I'm not sure yet. But I'll go ahead and show you guys. I have got a little more organized. i got Transformers and all games over here, and all those are handheld. You know, got a little bit of uh, scenarios going on up here, Hulk versus Hulk Buster and stuff like that. But so that's that's the reason I bought the statue. And I'll probably start buying a few more of these every now and again. Is the plan? Um, but that's gonna be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this toy lot slash review. I'm not really good at reviewing them, but showing them off. If you did hit that like button, let me guys know. Let me know that you guys want to see some more toys. All right, because I've been buying quite a few, and I don't care. I, don't, I like showing you guys. I just don't know if you guys are interested in it. So leave a like down below and let me know if you like these videos. So hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.